All right, in this video, I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate how to use the table of contents feature uh, in the insert menu of our Google site. So what the table of contents does is it automatically provides some hyperlinks at the top of your page to allow navigating through a long list or a longer page nice and easy. So what I have here is I have a page that has, I think, 12 different lessons. So I have to scroll pretty far down the page to look at all of the lessons. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in a table of contents that lists all my lessons at the top of the page which makes navigating this site easier. Now you can choose to add your table of contents first, then add your content, or you can choose to have your content first, then the table of contents. I'm gonna show you what both looks like in a moment here. So I have my items and I click the table of contents button to insert my table of contents. I'm just gonna move this down below my title. And you can see that it listed a bunch of different things. What the table of contents does is it lists all of your titles, your headings and your subheadings in this list. So when you're writing text, you have the drop down to choose whether it's a title, a heading, a subheading, small or normal text. Title, heading and subheading will all show up on your list. The only things that won't show up are normal text or small. So we can see that I have lesson overview, one or two lesson overview, that's a title. We can also see that lesson one, inserting text, lesson two, working with and editing layouts, these are all listed here. The reason that these aren't listed in a line is because when I wrote this, I said lesson one dash enter inserting text. If I move this to a single line, we can see that now the table of contents was updated. So this does update in real time. So if I scroll somewhere and if I add uh, another thing called test words, and if I make this a heading, we should see the test words right there in our table of contents and it automatically orders this in the order that it falls on your page. So you can't change the order of your table of contents. This just goes in order of where the things are listed as you scroll down your page. And again, it updates in real time, so you can add your table of contents first, you can add at the end, whatever works. If you wanna hide things, so for example, I don't need to have lesson two and working with editing layouts, these are the same thing. I could actually hit this little eyeball next to all of my lesson things uh, my lesson headings, and these aren't going to go away for us in the editor, but they will not be visible in the published site. So if I publish this, and we go and we view that published page, we can see that it doesn't show any of the lesson numbers other than lesson one, because I hid them. And if I click on one of these, it will jump down to where that is shown on the site. So notice that brought me right down to utilizing buttons at the top of my page because that's what I clicked on.